If you've walked or driven around Washington, D.C., you've probably noticed these things. Cast iron boxes installed on street corners all over the city, sometimes with art or a little neighborhood history inside. They're clearly pretty old and not being used for their original purpose anymore. But what are they? And why are they everywhere? It turns out these cast iron fixtures were vital for rapid communication in cities like Washington before the telephone was invented. They're fire and police call boxes, and they're really old. Some of the original fire boxes, like this one in DC's Cleveland Park, even date back to the 1860s. You can tell the original ones by their harp shape. By 1890, the Gamewell Fire Alarm Telegraph Company had installed call box systems in 500 American cities. This map from 1891 shows where they were installed throughout DC. The red dots are fire boxes and the blue dots are police boxes. If you saw a fire in your own house or on the block, you could run down to the corner and pull the fire alarm key. It was a telegraph system. A huge network of underground cables connected every box in the city to the central alarm center. There is a fire alarm box in every block of the great city. The number that the box would tap out matched a location on a giant map, so the fire department was able to pretty quickly figure out where to send fire engines. It could be nothing serious. It could be a false alarm. The police boxes worked a bit differently than the fire boxes. They came a little later and had an oval shape. They were initially intended just for policemen doing their rounds. They would have to go to a call box every maybe four or five blocks to let police headquarters know that everything was calm in their district. Like the fire boxes, the police boxes had numbers corresponding to their location, and police stations expected to hear from their officers on patrol from a different box at scheduled times. Officers would check in and say all is well, or they could use the box to call for backup or receive updated orders for their patrol area. Using the call box system, the Metropolitan Police Department was able to keep track of their officers throughout the city before the invention of two-way radio. Technology eventually caught up though. More people got phones in their homes and the 911 system was invented in the 1970s to link the fire and police departments. The boxes slowly lost their purpose, but they're not totally obsolete just yet. In cities like San Francisco and Boston, for example, you can still reach the fire department through telegraph. In situations like earthquakes and floods, when power and cell phone services are knocked out, these boxes are still reliably connected to emergency services. A second alarm has been transmitted for box 2598. The address is... But most cities don't use them anymore. Here in D.C., the call boxes were abandoned in the late 70s. And they were just kind of left in place because it was cheaper and easier just to leave them in place. And then people just kind of forgot them out. They took off the boxes themselves that had the little telephone in it. So it just kind of looked like a little blank piece of Victoriana street furniture that a lot of people had no idea what that was. But that changed in 2000, when members of the nonprofit Cultural Tourism DC founded a project called Art on Call. They gave city officials a cheaper and more creative way to deal with the iron relics, turn them into art. The city liked the idea and even helped out by stripping the lead paint and priming over 700 boxes before handing them over to the neighborhoods. The idea was not to just refurbish the boxes, but for neighborhoods to come together and decide on what they wanted their call boxes to look like. We really wanted neighborhoods to meet and kind of convey what was important in their neighborhood history-wise as well as artistic. These call boxes have watched over the same street corners for more than 100 years. And even though they're not saving lives anymore, they continue to serve their communities as carriers of culture and local history. Report all fires promptly. For unless you do, how can we help you?